Olaf Aaron Kroner, welcome. Uh, you are senior advisor at the Swedish uh, Foreign Ministry and uh, you have the title of ambassador. You're here representing your country in Geneva at the WISIS Plus 10 High Level events. Uh, what are the core issues for your country? The core issues are basically two. Establishment of the human rights uh, online as they are established offline. That is, uh, has been one of our core issues the last uh, few years actually. And we have been rather successful having a resolution passed through the Human Rights Council here in Geneva. The second area is of course ICT and development. Uh, we are uh, strong in development policies uh, in general and we believe that ICT should be one of the main pillars for the Swedish development policies the coming years. And uh, where do you think you are in this process now? Is there still a lot of work to do to, to get to where you want to be with regards to the implementation of ICTs? Absolutely. We are now 3 billion people on the internet uh, globally. There are still 4 billion that should be connected. Or at least, uh, I mean, we, we would like to see everyone in the world connected to this uh, fantastic instrument that the internet is. Uh, so the digital divide between the developing countries and the developed countries are one of the most chal greatest challenges in our time, to bridge it and to close it. Uh, within the WISIS process there are 11 action lines. Are there any action lines in particular uh, of particular importance to Sweden? Yeah, we believe that um, it's not only a th about broadband and technical facilities, it's also about institutional capacity. It's lack of institutional capacity that in countries where there are sufficient technological means to be connected, the still it's not the access is still not affordable for, for the great many people. And and uh, this is something that is connected to the institutional capacity. So we believe that uh, institutional capacity building is one of the should be one of the main focuses for development policies. In Good governance in the analog wo world is very important. In the digital world, good governance might be even more important. Actually, indeed. And as you said, you're trying to trying to bridge that gap, uh, make sure that there's uh, a smaller difference between the the real world, if you will, and the virtual world. Uh, so. Within that, within that, that uh, framework of the rule of law and making sure that the rule of law is as strong online as it is offline, uh, what is the most important? Is it, uh, is it security? Is it, uh, what elements in particular? Well, we see security and freedom as two sides of the same coin in, in open societies. Security in, open, in an open society should be there to protect freedom. And freedom is a very important part of security. That is one of the core lessons from the digital world, that freedom is a way to build security and resilience in the internet. If you lack freedom, it's ex the system becomes less resilient and the security becomes uh, less present for, for the end users. So we believe that there should not, we don't seek a trade-off between freedom and security. We seek a, we seek a constitutional um, uh, uh, concept where you can provide both security and freedom and privacy. Now next year will be the tenth year of the WESIS follow-up meetings and conferences, an important year for the process. Uh, what do you hope for the future of the process beyond 2015? We hope that uh, ITU will uh, focus on um, the developing uh, policies and the developing countries. We think that is the single most important challenge for us we, and for the developing countries. Access and affordable access to information and freedom of expression is the way forward in the modern society where you build the future by knowledge and the only way to, to, to get knowledge is to have access to the places where knowledge is present and this means that you can't close yourself up. You can't build uh, walls around your country. You need to have op be open and you need to, to get your people having the possibilities to access all the information that is out there. Almost 100% of all information in the world is today digitalized. And we will be very, very close to 100% in a few years' time. Ambassador, thank you very much. Thank you.